In this video, I will instruct you how to complete the Coulomb's lab. So here, first you have to answer all the pre-lab questions here. What are the force equation between the two charges? That is simply you have to write down the Coulomb's force of attraction or repulsion between the two charges. Here, all the charges that I'm talking about are the point charges. Does this force between the two charges depend upon the medium? What is dielectric constant? How does the distance between the two charges affect the force? And uh, everything, all the pre-lab questions we have covered in the class. So go to the lecture videos and from those you can extract all the information and write down all your answer here and make sure that you write down it the, as detailed as possible all right so the next thing here is we're going to simulate the coulomb's force using a simulation the fit simulation so all you have to do here is already have opened the simulation here so the way to get to this simulation is you can simply type write down the fate coulombs law you see here the fate coulombs simply click on click there and see the coulombs law it will take you to the simulation here and that is right here okay and now what is asking here so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to copy everything here I'll simply copy the entire document and paste it into an Excel file here. So I have copied this one. So or you can copy using here the copy and that paste it here. I already have pasted here and I have changed all the numbers here. So in your lab, this number would be it's a little different, would be different here. But as I'm doing this one, so I must have to change this number here. Okay. So what you do, you simply copy. So I'm going to the another tab here. Simply copy, copy and paste. All right. That's all you have to do. It's exactly the same thing. The only thing will be the number will be the different. All right. So what is the simulation asking here is the charge is the position of this charge. You see the position of this charge is fixed zero centimeter. So let's do that. So I'm going to fix the position here at the zero centimeter. And also if you look at this here, the value of this charge is negative 10 microcoulomb. So it will be negative 10. And this one will be, this has to be positive 10. You see here, it has to be negative 10 and positive 10. So that I already did it here, negative 10 and positive 10. And now in my case, I need to have the position of Q2 as a two centimeter. So what I can do, I'll simply drag this one and move to a position of two centimeter here. So the two centimeter. And then I'm going to note the force here, two, two, four, six. So you see already have done that one, two, two, four, six point nine. And then the next thing here, you're going to change the position to three centimeter. So I'm going to do it at three centimeter and going to note down the value that is 998.6 already have done that one all right so exactly the same way you have to fill out all this table here so all you have to do is simply wrote, uh, write down the values of the force here and you see these two forces are exactly the same but has opposite sign here okay the force onto these two charges so this is the force the force on q1 by q2 and the force on q2 by q1 is exactly equal but opposite in sign so you can see the direction of the arrow are opposite but the magnitude is exactly the same okay so once you fill all this ta table here you can simply copy and paste it here because it will be exactly the same here we're only talking about the magnitude all right and next thing we're going to fill out is this these two tables here what does this table tell you is x2 minus x1 or in simple words we are interested in finding out the distance so this is at zero centimeter and this is at three centimeter 
what is the distance 3 minus 0 that will be 3 centimeter okay so 3 minus 0 so here the first one is 2 and then I have to divide it by 100 so I can write down a formula here the way I'm going to do it is is, is equal to is equal to bracket here uh, let me start over here this is this is telling 2 minus 0 times divided by 100 because I'm changing from centimeter to meter so that's the reason I'm dividing by 100 and press the enter sign once you have go to this tab and double click here so that means it does all the calculation for you okay and the other thing I can do here I can increase the significant fear but that's perfectly fine here so 0 0.02 I, I think is perfectly fine here so after two decimal places all right and next thing is 1 over r square so in order to do that I'm simply going to plus 1 divided by so this is r and then you have to do the square it square okay. so just use this formula here is equal to 1 this is r then square it and then press the enter sign and then simply double click here all right that means the table is completed so i completed this table so now let's go to the other question here so the, when, once this is done let's move to the other table here what is this table asking you it, it is asking you to plot a graph of one over r square and the force okay so i can select these two columns here so i have selected these two columns go to the insert and then go to the this diagram here okay so i'm going to select this scatter diagram you see the scatter here so i'm simply selecting this scatter diagram here all right so once it is selected you can make it a little bigger if you so let me make it a little bigger here okay so the plot is done but what does it tell what does it tell you now so you have to clearly label the axis here so let me do that so i'll change my topic here the title so it has to be the coulombs or you simply click here and then change it to the coulombs the force between the two charges you can write down the force Just, all right okay and i can also level my axis here so if you have to level the axis go over here and this is the axis title put the axis title here okay and then i can double click here and then it is one over r a square one over r a square and this one is the force between them the force force here okay and the unit here is newton and here always make sure that you write down the proper units here so the unit here will be one over a square meter this is done so this part is also done and now the third part is best fit a straight line here so I have to best fit how do I fit a line here okay so go over here one more time and you see a trend line go to the trend line and you can click here more and it, just click here the linear forecast it automatically adjusts it so this is the linear plot and then you can go to the more option okay so here you see that this one is linear linear line 
and then the other thing you have to do is you have to click onto here the display equation so this display equation so i clicked it there right there and this one tells me the equation here so this is the equation here that's the equation of this line here okay that's how this line does vary with the um, or, uh, or this is how does the force changes with with respect to one over r squared okay so from this graph is plotted and now here we have to from this graph we have to answer this following question does the force between the charges follow inverse square law so think about this one how are you going to answer this one what is the inverse square law tells you okay yes in fact it does follow the inverse square law but how and the answer would be because this graph that i have plotted is one over r square and it does fit a perfect linear line so that means it is or it does follow a inverse square law okay because the plot between the force and one over r squared is a perfect linear line so that means it follows the inverse square law okay so now what is the value of the slope so the slope so here if you look at this equation here this equation here so this equation is exactly in the form of y equals to mx plus c so this number here this number 0 0.8988 that tells you the slope okay so here i can write down the zero point i'm simply writing down here but you have to 8988 8988 yes that is the slope okay so and then you have to write down the units just think about the units i'm not going to answer this units here and f and the last thing is can you calculate the value of the coulomb's law from the slope here okay and that i'm going to talk about in the next video okay so if you have any question any confusion let me know and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much have a wonderful time